Hey, Chris. Um, tonight, uh, you made a, a run late in the second quarter there, kind of with the starting unit back in, and, and you wanted to see that that group specifically, Carl Dilo and Ant, develop some chemistry. What did you see from them tonight and over the last couple of games that, that maybe you've liked in, in situations like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought our, you know, our defense, our ability to turn them over, we did a great job of, of uh, creating turnovers, 28 of them. I mean, really like their their defense more than their offense tonight. I thought I thought we overcomplicated things offensively. We tried to share the ball. We did a good job of it, but I thought we could have done a good, you know, a little bit of a better job, just kind of taking our opportunities and not overcomplicating it. But their guys were trying to share the ball, overpass a little, if you will. But defensively, I thought we were really good in that quarter. Competed. Um, and was really down and guarding and contesting everything. Dilo was really good in his pursuit. And just overall, the this game and Sunday game, um, you just kind of took care of business. There, you, you built a big lead, and there wasn't much drama after that. Is there, is there value in that, in, in just learning how to kind of just take care of business when you have a team on the ropes? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I like that our professional approach. I, you know, I didn't like the way we started the third quarter. Um, you know, I thought we lost focus at, at times in this in this game a few times, uh, you know, and those guys were playing hard and, um, you know, and I and we were out competing us at times. I didn't like that. But overall, you know, it was a good, good, uh, good wire to wire win, good professional uh, performance from, uh, from us. John, go ahead. Hey, Chris, with these last two, I mean, everyone says that when you're in the league, you are what your record says you are. But I mean, the, the way that you guys have kind of made it clear, you know, how much above both Orlando and Detroit, just in terms of the way that you played, do you feel like that's kind of sending a little bit of a message about kind of the, the continuity that you guys are building, the potential long-term for this team? Well, we hope so, John. I mean, think uh, we got a really good test here to end the season with three teams coming in that have a lot to play for, um, you know, all playoff caliber teams uh, for sure needing to win. Uh, that's what we're, you know, we're really looking forward to that right now, kind of measure us as we head out into the off season. But yeah, I, I, I like the fact that, you know, we talked about it before. I'm, I'm, I'm confident that guys are going to, you know, go into the off season with a bounce in their step, feeling pretty good about what, you know, what they have around them. Um, and we have a lot of work to do. That's not to say we don't. But it, it gives us great hope for, uh, you know, for where we want to go. And I know we've talked about Delos passing kind of a lot lately, but some of those little in traffic pocket passes that he has, I mean, it seems like he's a quarterback that can throw a receiver open a little bit. Is that fair to say? Just being able to hit those things that that a lot of others couldn't? Yeah, great analogy. Really, and, and you know, and, and his turnovers, I don't even mind because if they get through their their buckets, so it's on, it's like a fifty percent shot if you think about it. Like if it goes through its points, if it's a turnover, then it's a, it's a basically like a missed shot. Um, so uh, yeah, his passing is elite, and it's been on display now, and he's really enjoying setting his teammates up. Chase, go ahead. Yeah, Chris, you just touched on it a little bit, but how much are you? How good of a measuring stick, I guess, do you think these last three games are, knowing that you're going to get teams' best shots, quality teams, and kind of seeing exactly where you are, I guess, heading into the offseason that will be so important? I mean, it's the best that we're going to get, you know. Um, it's the best we're going to get because I think, uh, you know, we're going to we're going to have a, you know, full complement of guys, uh, you know, still unsure about Malik. But, you know, even without Malik, um, you know, we got we got a chance now to kind of really measure ourselves, like I said. So we're looking forward to that. Is that are you kind of telling the guys to like kind of approach it in that kind of way? Like, hey, let's see exactly where we're at. Yeah, you know, yeah. So we just talked about in the locker room, said, you know, good road trip, a couple good victories. Um, and now we get a chance to finish the season just like we want to. Dane, go ahead. Chris, we've seen um a, a growing part of Ant's game. Uh, since you've been here, kind of be in the in the pick and roll. Do you do you kind of see that him as a handler there being a kind of a next horizon for him in terms of even adding more production to his game? I do. I really do. Um, right now, you know, pick and roll is pretty elementary for him. It's it's about him trying to get downhill and be attack minded. 
Um, you know, once he learns his reads, once he learns to read a defense, once he learns to kind of manipulate the spacing and pick and roll, these are all things that um, we're pretty excited about his growth in that capacity. What do you think that that, that looks like, like might look different about his pick and roll game if we're seeing him, you know, 20, 30 games into next season? Well, I, you know, I think he can find the pocket pass more um, once he understands how to create it. Uh, once he understands how to deliver it, I think he can uh, find, you know, downhill um, late plays. Maybe, uh, you know, we don't necessarily have a, a lob threat on the floor a lot of times, but maybe late lobs, maybe kickouts, maybe, you know, keep his dribble alive and create for people on the other side. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Congrats on the win tonight. Thanks.